Okay, uh, today we'll get a quick tutorial on how to export the simulation data into a data file so you can use uh, that to uh, quickly doing some statistical plotting uh, using cells and all that for your report. Uh, this is related to your homework so I do a really quick uh, really quick uh, tutorial on these things and also we're going to introduce how to using a so-called uh, uh, calculate cycle time for uh, an output. Uh, first things we want to do is uh, the scenario we want to calculate is for this uh, example in the emergency uh, dining room restaurant uh, example. What we're trying to do is we have we want to calculate uh, for every hours how many customer uh, entering the system, entering the restaurant, how many uh, customer got served, and how many customer got rejected for uh, during the time of the simulation. So I reset in, uh, the simulations go on to 24 hours. So we need to several uh, model levels, model level uh, stay variable. And I define three of them. Uh, one is uh, they are all integer. One called the customer arrive. One called the customer serve. And one called the customer rejected. All of them are initially zero to begin with. And we want to accumulate when everything happened. We know the state assignment tricks. Uh, so first we want to do is for each one when the customer arrived to the system, we want to accumulate that <coughs> into this state variable. So the customer arrive equals to customer arrive plus one uh, plus whatever party size we have. So it should be the model entity party size. Okay, so how many customer arrive to this system? Second, what we want to do is and the exit part of the uh, portion uh, when the customer before the customer leave the system, we want to also do the customer serve okay. equals to customer serve plus model entity. Uh, party size. So instead of just calculating how many and uh, how many party got served, here we actually head count how many customer uh, dining enter. Also over here, we want to calculate customer rejected. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not it. The stay assignment. We're going to calculate. Uh, customer rejected portion equals to customer rejected plus model entity uh, party size as well. Now we can actually see these uh, customer right label over here and customer serve label over here and also I'm going to duplicate one for the customer rejected so you will see all three during the simulation okay so these are the simulation result pretty much through that period and <clears throat> what I also need to do is now I want to every single hour since I'm running this for 24 hours period Every single hours, I'm going to export these into a data file. Before that, I need to define a data file elements. So here, click on the elements using user define the file. Okay, and this we call a hourly statistic. Okay, so the file elements call uh, hourly statistic. And the file name, I'm going to call it hourly statistic one, for example, dot txt. So this is the file name. 
And without anything in the path uh, definition other than the file name, the file name will be uh, stored in the same direct uh, directory of your simulation model. So here what we have, we define a file over here. And also, since we're going to do perform this statistic export uh, every hour, so I need some kind of timer. So here we're going to call this guy, call it hourly timer. Okay. Hourly timer is defined as every uh, offset, which means if it's zero, we start with the uh, beginning of the uh, simulation. So I want to offset for one hour initially after an hour and after that every single hour so I'm going to run this again okay so this timer going to align every single hour in my model then I'm going through the process tab adding create a process this process I'm trying to uh, I'm going to rename the process we call the early report process okay uh, the report process and this process is triggered by the hourly timer event okay so every time the timer uh, is alarm and I will execute this process and this process does is just write out the data I currently have so to the right block which is the user defined block right here uh, or right over here. I'm going to write it to okay, the hourly statistic file for the following information. I'm going to add first, I'm going to do the hourly array. Then I'm going to do the hourly serve. Then I'm going to do the hourly rejected. So these three will be actually exported from the simulation right into this data file. Okay. So after it's done, we go back, we quickly run the simulation, and then we can see from the directory, we call the hourly statistic. Right now you cannot open it because it has a fire type of zero. Until you stop your simulation, this file is going to be available. When you see this, you can see that for every single hour, how many customers coming in, how many customers are served, how many customers are rejected. So these are the statistics we have uh, for that reason. So uh, another thing we want to do is we want to see uh, how often this, <clears throat> how often this uh, customer exits the system? We we'll call the cycle time. So the cycle time defined as at the end of this production line or end of the workstation. For example, how often there is one output? We we'll call it inter-departure time between two consecutive departure, and that's what we call the cycle time. It's almost like you stand be, uh, at the end of the machine output line you see how fast the machine can crank up the next part. To do so, we need to define a tally, uh, tally statistics. Go back here to the elements, define a tally statistics. Okay, And this tally statistic will call a cycle time, for example. And the cycle time uh, suppose this is a time, I'm going to do a time unit based on this, okay? Uh, so the cycle time is going to be the cycle time I want to collect. Uh, <clears throat> over here on the output, actually, in the exit elements of the in input of the exit element, uh, the sync, we have a tally statistic. We can say either on entering or on uh, exiting. We're going to do the 
I'm going to add a tally statistic using that cycle time. And the expression is time between. So this is a fairly simple and trying to see two consecutive output passing through the sink, uh, entering the sink node, how much, uh, how much interdepartial time it is in between. Um, so we can run this real quick um, to the end. And then you can see that once you finish running it and doing the model object type, you will see the, uh, the output of the cycle time. Uh, the average minima x maxima how many uh, party are there uh, this is in hours by default you can change that to the minute and you can see how often a uh, entity passing through uh, this particular node for and the cycle time definition <clears throat> don't have to be at the end only and every exit you can define the tally to do the similar situation. So for example, I want just want to see the cycle time at the end of the dining room, or I want to see the cycle time at the end of a cashier. So the cycle time definition is like, like uh, slightly different from the definition of the flow time. Flow time is the time when the parts and starting passing through, uh, for example, entering the system, all the way till the end. So how much time span between the part entering to the time is leaving. Instead, uh, cycle time as it defined it is two consecutive departure and the time between those two consecutive departure. I'm going to uh, conclude this section.